Well, thousands of Chicagoans will have a new place to vote in November 2020. It's a surprising spot. The Cook County Jail. A new law makes it possible. CBS 2's political reporter Derek Blakely says there's a big push to get more inmates registered to vote. If you're looking for the most enthusiastic voters in the city, you might find them here inside Cook County Jail. If you want to make a difference and you see things that's going on in society and around you, you want to vote, man. But while jail inmates want to vote, most didn't think they could. Did you think that you would not be able to vote while you were in here? I did. I, that, I did. Well, that's why when uh, they came to uh, register us, it, it was a big surprise to me. Once a week, volunteers from the nonprofit Chicago Votes registers voters at the jail. In the year-long period ending last October, they registered almost 3,200 inmates who can vote, if not yet sentenced, by absentee ballot. The more we can engage people in the jail with voting, being involved with their community, uh, is, is all good. For a door to vote. Derek McMichael cast a ballot for Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Well, I believe in change, and in order to change, you have to vote. You have to find out what's going on and who to vote for. But the biggest change may be in the attitudes of the inmates themselves. The majority of people that being in the country, they feel down like nobody love them no more, like nobody give a care about our opinion and our voice. But being heard means a lot. I want to vote. I want my voice to be heard. I want my vote to count. As Erica mentioned, the next big step comes in November 2020 when the jail will have an actual active on-site voting booth on Election Day. And Erica, that will allow the jail to provide on-site voter registration, mm. same-day registration as well.